things. So we're going to start by going around the table and introducing ourselves and what we're playing. So Hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll go ahead and start. My name is Magical Hacker. Uh, I do uh, Commander videos on YouTube. I started doing some stuff on Twitch, actually, uh, pretty recently. And today I'm playing Nahiri the Lithomancer. So this is uh, this is just my deck. That's like a like a giant serenade, an ode to my love of equipment. Even though it's probably not as good as uh, as as people want it to be. So uh, I enjoy this deck. I don't know how powerful it is, but it is fun. So that's what I'm playing. I'm playing here the Lith Lithomancer with a bunch of equipment. I think I got like forty equipment in here, thirty equipment, something crazy. So yeah, fun fun is always good. Fun is better than 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 good. You know. Yeah, We're I all definitely here to agree. have a good time. Um, yeah. All right. What about you, PJ? PJ, you're up in the turn order. My name is PJ, and I have a Boros problem. I'm playing <laughs> Boros. <Sims. laughs> uh, so whenever I play in paper, and I don't know which deck to grab, this is the deck that I typically go for, because it's, like, decent, but not overpowering. Uh, and I just really enjoy playing it. So we'll see what happens today. So like when everyone sits down at a table and you're like, what's the power level of the deck? And you one out immediately. They know. Everyone immediately says seven. And <laughs> I see it like, it'll be like seven, but it's a Gitrog deck. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's, it's not that's, a seven. That's always good. Um, this is Austin. I am from Commander 99. We do deck techs and gameplay, both in the paper and online world. And today I'm playing Estrid the Masked. And so when Commander 2018 came out online, I thought Estrid was a perfect choice in terms of what deck I wanted to build, mostly because the other commanders in the, uh, particularly the Bant Enchantments deck, I had already played in paper. So I've played Tuvasa and I've played Kestia. And I was like, this one is going to be more of a, uh, more of an enchantment uh, based deck as opposed to auras like with Tuvasa and, and Kestia I felt like going auras was a little bit stronger for them and so this is going to be be an interesting deck um, same but different you know yeah cool, cool. Uh, this is Eli from 50% uh, of Cardboard Confrontation along with my uh, channel mate Jordan and today I'll be playing Mina and Den Wildborn and uh get my landfall shenanigans on hopefully gruel simplicity yeah landfall is always good that's a fun mechanic pretty powerful i always uh, like mean and den yeah it's it's uh it's an ally which is nice that's a, that's a good <laughs> bonus call uh, back to yesterday is that what this is yeah <laughs> <laughs> Eli, are you playing the mirrodin tower Towers tribal, Mirrodin Towers tribal. What? What? Uh, Urza's tower? Are you talking about like the Urza tribe? No. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> All right then. All right. Well, my opening hand is slow, but I've had this problem quite a bit the past few times we've streamed. My opener is slow, but if I mulligan myself into oblivion, like if you watched the the episode where I played Gothic Teague. I uh, didn't have a good opener in that game and <laughs> regretted it almost as much as Eli regretted uh, keeping a two-lander. <laughs> mm, didn't work out, but I don't regret it. I don't think I can mulligan that hand. <laughs> no. I uh, I had a mulligan a six-lander in the opener. I'm like, Ugh, that does a lot of nothing. Yeah. And then immediately went to a one-lander with a soul ring, which is like ugh, also risky. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, okay, you keep the soul ring as long as no one destroys it you're fine for two more turns of not drawing a land. Yep. It's a fair fair trade. All right, guys. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> Ditto, kiddo. Ooh, not That's Eli, not though. No good luck for Eli. He has what? too much luck. <laughs> we talk about <laughs> Is he Is he a luck sack? Is that what's happening? Eli here is the luckiest one at the table? Uh, I think he might be. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That means you've got to play Okan and Zinder split. That's what that means, Eli. Yeah, that's exactly what that means. <laughs> I do have to finish making that deck, that's for sure. It Man, that'd be cool. super cool. Nobody's playing black this game, so that means that nothing degenerate is going to be happening. Right, Austin? 
<laughs> no comment. He's I'm trying to people. like have a callback to what it is you're referencing, and I'm not placing it. <laughs> no, it's just in general. The color black <laughs> is degenerate, or oh no. Um, so have you, I don't know if you guys saw the command zone statistics, where yes, they went through the, they had the they had the colors, and black was the most powerful color. It is so. Gotcha. So, you know, nothing and, to generate. Yeah. I think black is very strong, but it doesn't scare me in the same way that blue or green does. Mm. Both of yeah, which I, I am that. playing. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna be facing all of uh, PJ's uh, Rebs and Hydras and Pyros and stuff. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you have like a red elemental blast and a pyro blast, it's all going into Austin. Oh yeah. <laughs> No pyro blasts in this deck. Whoa. No, it's so no. tough with those cards. Because you don't, like, it depends on what's at the table, you know? You know, I always say that, and every time I draw one, I'm like, oh, there's a blue player at the table. Like, there's just, there's <laughs> always someone playing blue. Well, that's, hmm. uh, so Carpet of Flowers is one of those cards, like, I yeah. don't play. Like, oh, really? I don't play it even though it's really strong, and there's you generally a blue player at the table, you know, but like in this game, if I was running Carpet of Flowers, yeah, it'd be a dead draw, and that's mm -hmm. that's the time when I'm like, oh well, I don't want to play this, you know. I'll I'll play I'll play a Red Elemental Blast and, and Pyroblast if I'm playing like Tormenting Voice and uh, what are the other two that make you discard um, in order to draw cards like Wild Guess, Faithless Wild Guess, Looting. yeah, Faithless Looting is one, and then uh, there's there's one more. There's the the Cathartic Reunion is the last one I'm thinking of. But so it allows me to pitch that extra card in order to, you know, like if it's a dead draw, then I'll just pitch it. To, yeah. And hope that card doesn't get countered because you know, <laughs> Cathartic Reunion getting countered is the worst. I have no idea what I want to grab here. Is that it's not casting cost when you have to discard? Yeah. <laughs> are, hmm. are you just not going to grab Pure Steel Paladin? Is that not what. Well, I mean, I could. But Mystic, I don't I mean, know. Stoneforge Mystic is correct. Stoneforge Mystic is is up there. <laughs> One of those. I two. mean, I've got some options. I guess Pure Steel Paladin sounds sounds about right. Thanks, thanks, uh, Austin. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's because he has the Stoneforge in his hand, so he's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't I do not have the Stoneforge in my hand. Just to, just to be clear, I do not. <laughs> hey, wouldn't you know? You grab three lands and you draw a land. Oh man, that's the best. <clears throat> Well, that's because you're not Eli. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so uh, uh, I can tell you how this game's going to go. I'm just going to continue to draw all lands for the rest of the game. Yeah. Isn't that the case? You get into this weird, like, like loop with land tax on Magic Online where you will never see an on-land card. All right. This is where I hope that the land hate isn't uh, isn't too too warranted in this game. Hmm. This is Angel Tribal, man. I'm running Razia's Purification. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kidding. I'm not actually running that, but I wish I was. <laughs> Card sweet. I got a sweet what foothills the other day. Mm. I do like uh, Estrid. Estrid seems like a really interesting design for a commander. So I'm excited yeah. to see how it how it plays because I actually haven't played against Estrid yet. I played against Aurelia, and uh, I already know that uh, I need to uh, I need to watch my back. <laughs> what I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is like a three out of ten. All it does is play angels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally believe you. <laughs> All right, do I draw something good? Point, honestly, uh, are you playing the new uh, the new angel? What is it? The, the lieutenant angel card that makes angels based on the amount of times that you cast your commander oh the 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 storm card i am storm not. card that's what it is uh that yeah. one's really slow <laughs> yeah it's not i mean it depends on how many times you, you know makes like at the very least two angels for for like six mana or five mana yeah if it was like an instant or that haste or something like that but just Running that yeah. thing out in your main phase doesn't seem great. Um, also, I think I like what's the 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 miracle one. 
Um, I think I would just run that. A treat. I think is yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the by the way, um, I don't have the pop out for uh, chat for your Twitch channel right now. That's fine, right? That's what you uh, want us to do. Yes, that is correct. Okay. I mean, I've got it pulled up in case anyone joins in, and you know, the live streaming is just an added element. We're yeah. focusing on the gameplay. You know, mm. it's like if I someone gotcha. wants to see us, what cording is going to look like <laughs> live, essentially. <laughs> If they want spoilers. Join the live stream and then start talking smack. (laughs) As long as they're not talking smack to me, I'm fine with that. What are we doing here? Looking at uh, PJ's three. I don't recognize my screen name if I join the chat. Yeah, it's a different screen name altogether. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like Despair Faction 13 or something like that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Not recognizable at all. Hmm. Hmm. I think here we just play a Johnny Chosen. So that when I start casting enchantments. Ooh. I was facing an Estrid deck at the shop uh, maybe a month or two ago. And there's that sweet, I think it's an enchant land that makes elephants. Makes, oh, yeah, oh. okay. Yeah, I think a, I know what you're It's the eight, eight better one spawning something. Yeah, that thing that thing got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a really cool card. Wait, why am I dying to this card? There's elephants mm. everywhere. And like, if you saw my board state, I had I was actually playing this exact deck, and I had just all of the angels you want ever, like Avicen, Gisela, Aurelia, just everyone. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, wait, why why am I still dying? <laughs> Man, those elephants. Oh. That is a war storm surge. Whoa. Should we be worried about that this early in the game? No, not with not with my hand. Not with your oh, you have two cards after this. Yes. Four damage to any target though. Because they're all lands and he put them into play with Azusa. Yes. Mm, I don't know. I st- I still I'm still worried about it. Me I'm gonna both. Like, swan I'm, song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swan song. Oh yeah, yeah. That seems like a really good idea. Yeah. Excellent. It's so good. It's I a really good card. I just like the 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 fact that when you when you play Swan Song, you're literally giving someone the bird. You give <laughs> them a bird for their card. So I, I had never considered that. Yeah. <laughs> we're cool now, Eli. Though, like, we're good. I'm, well, I don't think you get to make the decision. What? I'm leaving you. Like, I got I got rid of your War Storm Surge. I have no hard feelings. That's okay. I got <laughs> way way worse targets. Yeah. So I'm I'm happy the swan song is good. I'm sure you got more yeah. counters though. Uh you know, I play a few. Negate and like, maybe Arcane Denial. Yeah, I play like the you know, I there's a small counter package. I feel like blue you kind of have to play at least a couple to like I I I use the swan song in a in a like it's meant to stop, you know, mass enchantment removal. That's that's the big reason why I play counter spell. And then feast famine hits the board, and I'm like, "Well, should I should I target at that?" You know. <laughs> you just, you need no. a, 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 van, a vandal blast for uh, enchantments. Interesting. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Come on. No, yeah. I'm I'm sure. 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 Have sure. the metal craft. The metal craft. Mm-hmm. And it only takes three and three. Hmm. <sighs> Use the magic number. Yeah, but you know how it goes. When someone does something scary early game, they usually lose first. So I'm actually in the worst position here. I see. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I don't know about that command zone stat. <laughs> Player with the soul ring loses. Like, I mean, I get what they were trying to explain, but mm. who's at the highest life total? Uh, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I just gift a paradise. I didn't actually do anything. I'm, I'm <laughs> just doing this to, to help you, you know, this see more eye to eye with everyone. Eye to eye? Yeah. Yeah. I'm 38, 39. 43 is a little bit too high. Yeah, and so, so I'm at 33. I got to make sure that I stack this right. 
right? Because uh, I don't want him to discard and then lose life for the cards in his hand. Oh, I discard. Yes, sword okay, first. Austin. This is not good. What? Who? Uh, how badly do you not want to get hit by that feast and famine? Uh, I I don't like discarding cards. Uh, now that I thought about it, I tapped my lands incorrectly, so forget okay. that, that question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next time, next time. I realized that colored mana was involved in that situation. <laughs> Pro play right there. I was like, PJ got mm. some like weird free spell, Thunderclap. Okay. So I was holding another was counter spell. What's that? I've got, I, I discarded Negate. Yes, the one I said. Negate is like, yeah. Actually, just one of the straight up best counter spells. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah negate is. Um, let's just. I guess here I want to just uh, mm. do this. And an almost active <laughs> Emeria. <laughs> At, almost. I'm barely halfway there. Just one half of a land above <laughs> halfway there. Okay. Yeah, so almost there. <laughs> Technically closer to all of us then. Zero. Uh, yeah. The value. Man. Okay. Zero is busted. Pretty good start. Pretty good start, I will say. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you start. It matters how you end. Isn't it true? <laughs> mm -hmm. Where's my Seeds of Innocence? Where is it? What Seeds of Innocence do? Does that destroy all artifacts? Yeah, it's green, green, one. Destroy all artifacts that can't be regenerated. You gain life for the CMC for each Ooh. artifact destroyed this way. It's controller. Well, I don't want the life. I want my artifacts. Come on. I, I don't think the table wants you to have your artifacts. Yeah, I, I do realize that. It's really good against all the fast artifact draws since it's only three mana. You can, like, I've played it, like, turn two with a bird and, like, completely destroyed, like, whole tables. I'm glad people don't play a lot more Stony Science, Silence and Commander because that card would totally wreck this deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a really rough card. Gets most of my decks, too. I, I, don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Stony Silence? <laughs> what is that? Exactly. Yeah, this is what it is. It's in his deck because it's all enchantments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, it goes very good in that deck. Also, Titania Song. That's one of the ones that's also pretty underplayed, but super sweet. Yeah, I, have a... I play with that card a ton. I approve of this. Oh, my Pure Steel Paladin. I miss you already. Yeah, no, that, card, <laughs> that card's pretty busted. Now my Azusa. Pretty busted. Also... Azusa pretty busted as well. So. Yeah, she wasn't doing anything though, so I didn't actually yeah, care. She already, she already did her damage. That's the problem with her. By the time you can kill her, it's too late. Mm. Oh, yeah. I remember I was playing against the one Azusa deck, and then someone came uh, with a comment saying, I was so glad that that Azusa deck wasn't playing like the typical Eldrazi stuff. They were like a mono green landfall deck, yeah. and they were like really happy. I think that was the only time anybody's been like, dude. I, I really enjoyed that deck you played against. <laughs> usually still there with the way around. It's like, man, I love your deck, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then Austin usually tells me that uh, I should be playing less white or something like that. I don't know. What, what colors do you hate, Austin? I don't hate any colors. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Usually people hate on white, so. Not no, I, I love white. I've, I, I'm a big fan of uh, guilds, actually. So, like, mm. you know, Ravnica coming back. It's pretty pretty nice seeing that uh color combination it's the you know it's one of the cheapest to build your mana base around it's mm -hmm. you know it's it, it, there's something nice aesthetically about it you know yeah yeah if you had to pick a guild which one would it be uh that's a, that's a big question i don't <laughs> i don't answer big questions <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> what about you pj not Boros. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. 100% Boros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eli, do you know what you would be? What guild? Probably yeah. go, probably go Gary. Ooh. It's a good one. I like my graveyard and I like my recursion. 
Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff that I want to die in this battlefield. Like what? Everything has an fighting. artifact and an enchantment. <laughs> yeah, these <laughs> artifacts. Let's go. These artifacts are getting out of control. Let's get. Yeah, let's get rid of a uh, all non-lands. Anything that's not a land, I mean, sweet. Are you Aww. saying or asking? No, I think I have to get rid of that. Oh, thank goodness. All that right, was a good choice. Beast and famine's still pretty scary, though. <laughs> eh, it was okay. It's a. Uh... They're both real good. Yeah. <laughs> I think with the recruiter. Like, if you didn't have the recruiter, the helm wouldn't be as nearly, you know, a big mm -hmm. of a threat. Man, it's just, yeah. just tutoring drawing cards right now. I gotta get rid of it. Six cards, just... seven cards, two cards. Me and Austria are in the worst position hand-wise. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I lost my Six, hand real quick. Eight, four, that's five. I don't have enough. Um, let's see. I do five there. I mm, guess half, half of PJ's hand is lands, though. Maybe there are four lands in my hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> most card advantage came from the the sword player. Yeah. Oh, that's a card. Yeah. All right, feeling pretty good about what's going on over there. Hey, I did I did my mm. part. I did some. No, I mean like I I I'm not getting attacked. Attacking me, yeah. huh? So you just chump with the bird. <laughs> can't be blocked. I can't be. Oh yeah, whisper silk. Let me read read the cards on the board. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I get into a lot of trouble by not doing that. Also. <laughs> Yeah, well, he just, you know, you, you casually throw down a whisper cloak. You got to announce that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Everybody was was deep into conversation, and I was deep into thought, so. No, yeah. you're fine. <laughs> you're I mean, I, I don't think I would have attacked Eli, but that sphere of safety was not killed by the reclamation sage. So, you know, I guess you make do with what you can. Yeah, I'm safe. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, Helm's much bigger problem than a <laughs> sphere. I mean, I can see that. I can see that. All right. All right. That's something. It's not a land. Well, PG did say his deck was a three, but when you factor in double strike and uh, two attack steps, that's like a 12. <laughs> I thought it was a seven. All decks are sevens. I thought you guys knew that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Every it's so deck tough. Every been played is a seven. Are we going to see some merging? It's a melding. Cards are in my hand. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Eight cards. Four, five, six, seven. What do I want to draw? Something that just says draw cards on it. Passing. Discarding an Avacyn. Interesting. Sometimes you gotta be the passive Boros player. Okay, uh, so uh, look out for the I'm mir assuming you got something like Resurrection in the hand then? Mm, more like Miraculous Recovery. Oh. <laughs> One white, four colors, instant. Put Dark Creature from your grave right over the battlefield. <laughs> Never heard of that one. I'm gonna have to look that one up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we look at and it gets a plus one plus one counter, I think. I can't remember that part. Hmm. All these cats? Choose yeah. a token. No, I don't want to. You're yeah, nice, kitty. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> attach my oh. urban utopia to my cat token. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I I you know, I thought about it, but <laughs> it's not uh it's not up there. He's a domesticated cat. Okay, so that can now add mana of any color. That's nice. Um, but I don't have enough mana to cast like Oh no, I do. I have enough mana. For some reason I, I was thinking Estrid cost five. I'm I'm feeling good about this. Dun dun dun. Commander. Okey doke. 
I should probably read this one. I don't actually know what it does. Well, right now it's just going to untap each enchanted permanent I control. Uh, that's mana. That's mana's cool. Which is mana. Exactly. And then what are we going to do? I, I can't do anything else with the remaining one mana, so let's just play a Cure as Follower. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Keep the mana. Can I do anything with these cats? No? I mean, you can attack with them. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> Eli, I'm looking at you for this board wipe that needs to happen. Uh, yeah. I don't know about board wipe while the planeswalker's on the field. Maybe we get rid of that first and then board wipe? Let's play like our revelation or planar cleansing. Or... Oh, yeah, that would work. That'd be great. <laughs> All the good stuff. Oh, this What's is wrong? Man, Hour of Revelation is so bad. underrated. I'm just building up my defenses. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want to attack. Like, just let me sit back here with my spear <laughs> and my Estrid and my cat blockers. <laughs> That's one of the scariest things for someone to say. I don't want to do anything. I just don't want people to do stuff to me. Yeah, exactly. no, that's the worst. You're like, ah, then I'm just going to cough out all this big stuff. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You guys can play your own sub game. Yeah. You know. Have, you guys, had, have you guys ever had people who they um, they they play a game and then they play a really scary, scary commander and they get targeted before they can do anything and they're like, why'd you guys kill me? I couldn't do anything. And they're like, that was... Because once you start doing something, you know, then we do, then we lose, you know? Yeah. One of my favorite moments from, I don't know, probably the past six months, I was playing a game and guy lays down uh, Marari's Wake and the new Nicole, one, uh, the, the seven mana Nicole Bolas Planeswalker. Ooh. And yes. uh, I one shot him with Aurelia Exemplar on the following turn. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so bitter about it, but it's like, dude, you got double mana and a huge Planeswalker. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. kill you. And no blockers. Turn, yeah, it was turn <laughs> six, so like, you know, it was still like a little early into the game, but I just like hit that draw where I'm like, oh, double strike, double damage, boom, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it happened one time with a Muldratha player. Uh, we didn't. Even, I think the three of us didn't even say anything. We were like, well, right now you're the biggest threat. All right, right now you're the biggest threat. And so Attacking then we all the multi player usually correct. Yeah, I mean, if it gets to the late game, then you're really in trouble. So you got to try to prevent that. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? All right. Well, um, I guess here. Well, we'll play down a land first. Um, I can start nine. to take do some stuff against that Estrid, but um, can we I feel talk like about just gonna... Yeah, we are. I mean... We're gonna do stuff to it. <laughs> no. I mean, it's fine. It's it just it's just producing mana. It's nothing to uh, nothing to worry about right now. Yeah, exactly. Right mm. now, it's at five already. Seven, but the top seven. I mean, All yeah, right. it, it natural fives from the. Yeah. Oh wait, what am I? Yeah. Okay, it starts at three. I was confused because the bottom right loyalty. So there's the loyalty counters, but the bottom right, I'm also seeing a loyalty of five. Yeah. So that should be a three because the natural loyalty should start as three. Yeah, if you right click, it, it'll save the starting loyalty. Yeah, I've, I've been doing that for for like games and stuff. If I forget what the starting there is, there we go. Starting loyalty, got uh, it. Yeah, if you just look at it on the screen, it says three. But then if you uh, zoom in on it, it says five for some reason. That's odd. Okay. Um. <clears throat> well, I'm trying to think if I want to do this. I mean, not attacking. Not attacking Estrid gets to keep your creatures around. That's the, you know, that's the fair trade. How much do I have to pay per creature? What is it, six now? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a lot. It's too much. It's, it's more mana than you have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> um, let's just, um, well, I guess let's <laughs> do this. PJ, I'm going to attack you with my Recruit of the Guard just because I want to untap my lands. Of course. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah, PJ, you know. So don't worry about it. So so I'm not I'm not actually trying to, to kill you ASAP. All right, just just for the record. Is that going to change how you re retaliate? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> uh, 
Just I don't know, it might. <laughs> just so I can attack my lands. Alright. No other reason. Well, I hope you remember me helping out with the Escher thing, and you can see that we're we're on the same side here. Alright. I can't make um, any promises about what'll transpire, but if you wanted to discard that Avacyn so much, you could have just told me, and then that would have been the card you could discard it to Sword of Feast and Famine. We could have worked out, you know? Done some stuff together. I mean, luckily, I've still got, like, tons and tons of lands I can pitch. <laughs> yeah, that's always true. Um, um, um. You, uh, if you hit PJ too much, that's what we will be doing, is remembering you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, that's going here, that's going there. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of damage and a lot of value for him. Yeah, uh, sword value is. I mean, that's like basically what my channel is focused on. Yeah, sword value. So, stuff with swords. <laughs> so from a from a like a, I don't know if if the right word, but this is like a moral victory if if uh, if I'm doing well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Look, I'll, I'll even I won't make you lose as much life. I'll put the sword of war and peace on the bottom. Uh, that way you don't lose one extra life, you know? Where where was that during my my initial attack? Hey, you're yeah. playing Estrid. You've got blue and green in your deck. Okay. Nope. I mean, the other two players, one's playing Boros, and I guess Eli is playing green. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not playing I, blue. So I don't know if, like, I, I understand the statistics behind <laughs> it, you know, to a point, but does color combination when you're playing with people really affect your decision making as much? For me, oh, sometimes. Oh, well, look at that. Um, Called it. Nice call. Had a boy, Eli. Gotcha. Cool. My good thing is, it's sort of a war piece on it. Otherwise, that thing would have gotten squashed. Gotcha. I guess That's, it does. Uh, it does. I couldn't remember if it had the counter on it, but it does. Pretty good. It's a sweet card. Yeah. So, for a long time, I was hung up on the fact that, like, Miraculous Recovery is one more than, like, uh, Resurrection or Breath of Life. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's instant speed is just ridiculous. Like, it's so much better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just... Uh, same insane. thing with, like, Route. The fact that it's instant speed. It's underplayed, too, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's one that I kind of overlook a lot. And I'm like, uh, I should probably be running that. Thing is so, yeah, I, I think so, too. But... Mm. There's a big differential <laughs> on, uh, between two players' life total. I'm just pointing that out while we're while we're chatting things up. Wait, which two players? Red Iron. Oh boy. I don't know. Bloxer becomes blocked by a creature. Destroy both creatures. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you got Avison. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, that's true. But you know, Avison has a bad habit of uh, attracting anything that says exile. Yeah. So we should talk. Not my deck. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Are we good, PJ? Like we're we're cool. Ah. Uh... <laughs> plus to that Estrid. I don't know for for at least a turn. I don't know, like until I do this broken I mean, thing. Currently, I'm seeing an Avacyn, and I'm, I'm worried about it as I should be. You know, I, I and it's one of the things I can deal with as opposed to those swords. I can't handle the swords. You can't handle the sword. I can't handle them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're sort of good. Mm. Uh, I've got some interaction with equipment, but not currently in my two card hand. Hey, you got two cards more than me. Yeah, that's true. This, this is the opposite of last time. <laughs> I have yeah. turbo mana, but this deck does play 40, so. Your commander can put more cards in your hand. Yes. <laughs> not uh, exactly what I. Not what you're looking for, though. I'm sure. All right, all right. I've thought about this. I think You've thought about it. Yeah, you. I I could hear you quietly thinking through the process. Yeah, you can hear the gears just like grinding, like. Oh man. Rusty and... <laughs> Sphere of safety gone. Well, that was you're it. Gonna get your your you're gonna get your equipment stuff, or maybe just a breeding pool. It's always a land, or you know, some some ramp. I don't know, hacker. After that pun oh, and that comment, I had to I had to close your screen for a second. Wait, what'd you say? I said after that comment and that pun, I had to close your your battlefield for uh, a second. He just minimized your battlefield <laughs> in the middle of the game. He's like, "You don't exist. <laughs> You're gone." Wait, is that one of the rules? I'm not allowed to make puns. No, 
Just joking uh, with puns, you. <laughs> so, so here's my thought on puns during, during you know, gameplay. Like they're good every once in a while. You know, they're they're mm-hmm. okay uh, if if the groans get avoided. Mm-hmm. But but when 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 it's like a consistent like someone's just making puns all the time, that's when you gotta cool it. Uh, yeah. Well, I was gonna say puns are are quite in the here to my heart, so. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> But I, I can I can cool it on the puns, you know. Yeah, I am. Just this is personal, you know. Ooh, Aurelia and Avison. Uh oh, this might be uh might be over before it even starts. Yeah, somebody's at forty eight life and needs to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've only got what ten power on the board. Oh man, the hammer. Mm-hmm. Dropping it. Hammer indestructible. Two combat steps. Attaches to a creature. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Eli. That would be me, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not Eli, so I'm worried. Who's the threat? Not me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not me. Uh, I don't know. They both look pretty threatening to me. Yeah. yeah as they, do, as do you. I, I'm looking at all three of you. I'm like, you're all a threat. I, I am not the threat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tried to try to be your friend. Like that's how un- that's how worried I was previous to this board state, and then you chaos warp my only defense. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not the threat because that would be a lie. But I'm not I'm not threatening to you at the moment, PJ. So if you want to help Austin and Eli, you know, live a little longer, then you'd probably want to start attacking me, but. If you're okay with them dying, then yeah. <laughs> I mean I'm not a threat to you then in that case. Then that is <laughs> well, that, true. That's what attacking you is does is just helping us. Oh okay, I got it. it... Well, when in doubt, listen to your heart. <laughs> Attack the blue player. Oh Spear is safe too. Man, that's not good. Spear's Spear's gone. Spear, oh yeah, forgot. Okay. Calling for you. <laughs> do we have do we have a second uh a second combat? Am I gonna get attacked again? Oh, there's a second uh, combat. Maybe make me an offer. Make me an uh, offer. Why I shouldn't attack you again. It hurt Survive the first it. time. Uh, that's, that's what's that? Does it hurt the first time count as a uh, rebuttal? Yeah, it hurt the first time. <laughs> uh, board presence, you know, helping helping the table <laughs> after this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just worried about what I think Estrid can do. There's nothing. I'm you telling you. Extra it if you Until don't want to take I, Austin if, out. If I draw something, you know. Is that 14? Oh, God. That's 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 also brutal. Embarrassing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is this it? Uh, that's going to be it unless you got something. I don't have anything. Uh, my my okay. two cards in hand are are not not great. Do we get points for saving people? Uh, I mean, <laughs> they... I, I don't know what is what does that do. No, I can't. I, I can. I, I, I can deal. I can deal with some of his board state. Like I can deal with the Avacyn for sure. See that or the Aurelia. That's exactly why I'm attacking you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I brought it up in the first place. I was like, "Are we cool? Because yeah. I'll leave your stuff alone, and you can do this elsewhere." No, I, I can't. I can't do anything. Yeah, can't I, do I anything. Can't. Yeah, because so because of the Avacyn. The Avacyn's what's stopping me. Ah, uh, gotcha. I was like, then why bring it up? You know? <laughs> well, I had to start. I had to start doing the thinking process. I was asking uh, if it's worth, gotcha, you know, thinking about. Gotcha. Yeah, that's it. That's that's uh, that's rough. Well, I guess this is death to the streamer. Oh, do we got something going on here what? from Eli? I'm just helping. Is he? Yeah, he's he's doing nothing. He's he at the end Wolfram? of. <laughs> gotcha. Just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Matt was okay. like. Can we save people? I'm like, well, I can't, but I can help the opposite way. Yeah. So I drew like a very like mana ramp heavy hand and just very mana ramp the entire game. Right, so my big worry is that like you draw Cyclonic Rift or Oh no, I don't play it. Something with like lots of exile. So my my last two cards were a Dark Steel Mutation and a uh, a Mesa Enchantress, which I could have used for some cycling. Mm. Um, yeah, Dark Steel's pretty good yeah they would have it would have dealt with one of your creatures so i was like okay 
it deals with the important one, and then yeah. if uh, the white deck's got a board wipe, then yeah. That... I I think like based on your board position and based on the other two players right now, you you've you've uh, solidified more of your presence by removing me from the game, and now there's no you know yeah, chance of your no indestructible. Although that Xenagos is, you know, that's the real Yeah, it, it did just hit the board. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I have lost to Xenagos a lot of times. Doesn't deal with the angel problem. Uh, yeah. Four. The angel problem. Six. Um, six Twelve. So when I faced that Estra deck and when I lost to it, the card that got me was the, uh, the blue archetype, which makes all of my stuff lose flying. Ah yeah yeah I'm not I'm yeah. not playing that either. This is more uh, of just a kind it's not pillow fort but it's just enchantment value. Yep. So I'm I'm playing like a lot of like the draw cards from playing and you saw me make cat tokens, you know, you right. saw me playing Kiora's follower to untap for more mana. You know. So I see you making that Mina and Den, but uh PJ's got that indestructible 99, so I have a feeling it's not going at him. Um <laughs> Eli, are you sure you want to attack me? I think we kind of need to work together here to get rid of the uh, the angel problem. Mm. He, he's saying this because he no can just thing as an angel problem. <laughs> Look, the the antagonists of Shadows over Innistrad were the angels, and and then it wasn't, you know. But that's that's beside the point. Well, it was the angel problem before it was the Eldrazi problem. Yeah, I can't do anything about the angels, so I'm gonna just straight up ignore them. You gonna straight up what? Ignore them. <laughs> Good plan. S second uh, place. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, can I do anything about it? No. All right. So it doesn't exist. <laughs> All right. Do do what you will. I mean, I've got the thing on the thing on board. Dead Iron Sludge. Oh yes, I forgot about that. So I guess I'll, I'll do it to save myself ten damage. I do have Sorry, trample. bro. I do have trample, though. It will destroy it before destroy damage. It. Yeah, oh, before yes. damage. Ooh. It's pretty. It's pretty good, huh? I'll have to give that thing another look. I know. I've I've never seen it before. So this is uh, sweet art. Two two sweet. mana. Go you ahead. know, two mana All trade. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's find out what the worst equipment in his deck is. Mm hmm. Um. Well, what's going to help me deal with the angel? That's the pro That's the question I have. No um, comment. In this the other permanents, do you have the uh, the six mana one? You can. Well, I actually I, no, that doesn't work. It's indestructible. Yeah. I have an idea. You need like council's judgment. Swords, uh, path. Sun forger is what you need. Hmm. Sun forger fixes the angel problem. <laughs> I know, you know, I would totally love to, if I ever see you in person, PJ, I'd bring a Sunforger so you can sign it and I can just keep it and have it there and just look, I've got a, I've got a Sunforger signed by PJ. That's like I the one card you like too much. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to go in the tank here a little bit to, to double check all these equipment. Sorry guys. Good idea. <laughs> um, I want to get that one. Uh, that's not that great. I think it's going to be this one, but I'm not sure yet. Um, that one's not that great either. That one's okay. <laughs> um, well, actually, if I get that... Okay, now i got to do some math. This is, this is... Now it's time for math time. I just, I, I just thought... So if I, if I get that, and I also get that... Onto something with that. Also good. Let's that. see. Let's see. That's um, ten. Yeah, that that could do it. What? That could do it. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Um, what could it be? Indestructible board state, and he has he has uh, an out. I imagine it's it's probably got to be two things. Yeah, I've got to do one thing now. And then one thing later. Let me just double check. This is what I want to do. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. Yep, I thought it might be that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My guess was Godsend. So that was something that... Godsend's sweet. It's like another Dead Iron Sludge. 
it's sweet, but it's tough to run at three and three. Like it's yeah. Well, my my thought process was the exiling. Like yeah, the exiling is cool, but you know that okay. that's a crowded slot for equipments at three and yeah. three. Because you have Sword of Vengeance, which is like so so good, and then locks it on Warhammer. And... Mm -hmm. You can only run so many things that are like essentially six drop. Ah uh, yes, returning the helm of the host back. Uh, that's also a pretty. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um. So let's see so... if this will get us there. Let me actually. I need to count. Make sure I have enough mana here. So I've got eight mana. That's five. Um. Will it work like this? So twenty-four. And then 12, and then 8, and then 4. No, I'd have to, I can't do that. That's a little too greedy. Too much greed. Greed is good. <laughs> um, not, 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 not good for me all the time. I, I get too <laughs> greedy sometimes, and then I'm like, why did I do that? That was such a bad move. <laughs> I should have not gotten greedy. And then I wouldn't have been in the situation. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, that's a lot of swords. Oh, yeah. And some boots. This is like playing Mojo stuff. Just Can't get the boots. <laughs> stacked. One, two, three, four pieces of equipment. This is actually like a fairly serious problem. All yeah. right, so you I want to you to stack your triggers properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the worst part. All right, so we want to do that, and then that, and then that. Okay, yes. all right, cool. First on, last off. All right. Down to 10, then down to 5. Untap some lands. That was a lot of damage. That was Quite a, a bit. Damage. That was so much damage. <laughs> Many, many damages. All right, and then we will go ahead and do this. Actually, how much is this? This is nine times two. Nine times two. So that would be 13. Okay, yeah, I guess we want to do it this way, which is, which is kind of funny, actually. Um, yeah, let's go... Let's go like this. All right. I, I was thinking about which way I wanted to do it. I figured it out. I want to do it this way. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh, All right. What's it with you people in that card? <laughs> it's it's really, a good card. Come it's, on. Really, I know, it's really good. I know why I'm running it. It's very good. You know, it's an enchantment. Uh, we're we're going to need a big draw right here. Better. Uh... It's still underplayed along with like Song of the Dryads and Prison of the Moon. I mean, yeah, they're all really good. I assume they're um, all in Austin's deck, most likely. All of them. Every last one. Every last well, one. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I'm not going to complain. I think that's awesome. Because I, I think they're really tech cool. coming through. All right. Don't mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> Just mess this up. whammo. Yeah. 49 damage out of nowhere. Uh, I don't have 49 damage. I wish I did. What is going on? We both have no cards in our hand, and the Burrows deck has eight. Granted, eight. as a land tax. <laughs> Granted, yeah, as a land tax. But still. It's sweet. It's I'm like, playing mono white, so. Uh, my I guess mean, is five lands. Am I? Am I close? Yeah, probably four. Uh, one, one. I have two non lands. All right, so so five lands in your hand. <laughs> What could this be? What could this be? Da, da, da. Man, um, I wish there was an insurrection in my deck, but there is not. Insurrection? Yeah. Not in this deck. It has nothing to do with landfall. It's the Sweet Eli tech. Oh, yes, the bad witness. All right, this is cool. So, so good in your deck with reanimation, too. It's like the perfect. That works really great with land tax too. Just Dis discard those basics that you're getting. Yep. Yep. All right, time to give it haste. Um, 
I think this is the opportune moment to go ahead and activate the stone hewer giant. Watch, it's gonna die. This has happened to me like three times. I've been in this exact situation where like devout witness is either really good or going to win me the game, and then something happens and then it dies. <laughs> I'm gonna grab another piece of secret tech. Heart seeker. What is what is that? So now I can destroy the uh devout witness. Oh this hap why does this happen? <laughs> so I, I know the power of this card. This is literally the third time this has happened. Um... She's witnessed it all. I'm, I'm kind of glad that my Twitter followers voted for this deck. This deck's so much fun to play, but I feel like it just has not been. I have just not been getting lucky with it in my games on my YouTube channel. And I feel bad. It's like, I know the power you have. Why are you being so shy right now it's camera shy yeah it's good man it's uh doing some stuff Three, five, six. Yeah. when people say that mono white <laughs> stuff is is like not powerful enough Ooh, I, uh... the third time that's happened with the bow witness I'm like, sorry hey, man just the card i need no <laughs> Uh, dip out. It's, uh, it's just too slow. Yeah. And I mean, every time this has happened, I've had the, uh, like the, the handware to give it haste and nope. And someone responds. Yep. Yeah. Every time. Hard to believe, actually. All right. Nahiri's going down. I like it. Indestructible one two insect coming in. <laughs> it's coming in. Coming in hot. One two. Yeah. Got something big out of Eli. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I could possibly draw here. I guess you could say Avicen, uh... I guess you could say Avicen bugs me. Does she? <laughs> Eight mana bug. Hmm, I'm not even sure what I want to draw. Anything. Harmonize to start. That yeah. Probably be. Yeah. Uh, that one that blows up all the artifacts. That's uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Born wave of vitriol. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good card. Not in the stack though. Yeah, that would totally wreck my board state here. Uh, it's about what I thought. Give it to Avison back too. Can we get Avison back? Indestructible, indestructible. Hmm. Well, that was awesome. I was gonna say like, Bane of Progress would be a good be destroy sure. his destroy his board state, uh, and then you just Keswick Wolf run for one to. Get... <laughs> All right, what you got? It's something big. Commander? Commander mm. time? No. Ah. Just, pump, just pumping the bird. Oh. <laughs> Something's getting big. 18. Which way do you send it is the question. Uh, Eli, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that is a large bird. Like I said, I, I did not mind. <laughs> I am I am flipping the biggest bird you ever saw at, <laughs> at, Mag at Magical Hacker. I'll take it. Yeah. I have no other options. All right. All right. I guess it's time to return the creature. Yes. Oh, yes. that is yes. that is very good. Yep. Clipping for zero again is not good. Oh no, it's great for him. <laughs> okay, so time to do a little bit of math. Um, the math yes. is zero. The math is zero. <laughs> quip, quip is zero. Zero. You need to reach it. Yeah. All right, let's put that there. Mm -hmm. And then let's put that there. Then we put that 
there. It's hard to see some of this. What with a like dark steel mutation in the middle of it all. Oh, okay. Now it's now it's moved. Awesome. Where did it go? It's underneath it's the just... planes, kind of. For me. Anyway. Uh, yeah. It's I'm underneath just not... the pure steel paladin stack, I think. Mm, it's not there or... for me. It's left the board. If you go to Avison, you'll see where it gets a little bigger. Oh, so I got you... it. So, then I put that there. All right, so I can I can not worry about that for a second. Um, um, I guess I can put all this here. Um, I guess uh, I might as well cast the commander. Yeah. Can't hurt, right? I mean, you have one card in hand. <clears throat> so jealous, one card? Oh, that's yeah. a good one, too. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hell bad. Okay. Let's go to ye old attacks. Okay. Yeah, Scar is eight is pretty good. Um. Oops, I didn't do this right. Oh, well. Um. No, I didn't do it right, so uh, I'll have to do this the uh, the old-fashioned way. Crying sideways. I cannot block. Okay. <laughs> so, well, I'm assuming you have one card in hand. No, can't block. There you, Shepard. Ah, that's not a bad one to have. Not a bad one to have. Uh, it's usually good post board wipe, but not a lot of removal this game. So no, just just death. <laughs> Could have gotten back that devout witness if I had one more turn. <laughs> Start getting to work on those equipments. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm about all ninety right. percent to draw land here. It's all the land I didn't draw last time we played. We'll put the uh, dead iron sledge back on that soldier, and uh, we'll give it shroud, I guess. Is this target? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, cool. It does not target. And mm. uh, yeah, then I'll pass the turn. Yeah, if I had like a giant, Eli? If I had like a giant growth, do you have anything that applies? No? He does not appear. No, My, no flyers. Uh, a giant growth could like legitimately kill you right here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> not in the deck, but <laughs> that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm like, giant growth. Anything for a giant growth. Yeah, because a land won't do it. You'll be one, oh. one short. Agent Tube could do it. Ancient tomb, yeah, or uh, temple of the false god would be. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I run it. What do you mean that in card? certain decks? Mm -hmm. No, close. It needed to be untapped. Yeah. A soul ring would have done it, right? No, it's just plus one mana. Yeah. Need plus two. I know this is kind of old news, but what do you guys think about the card back being changed on Magic Online? They did that. Yeah, uh, look at look at the hideaway card. What? Why would they do that? Only for you don't like uh, it. Only for online. It's, I'm a it's... Magic player. I'm not used to change. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it. I don't know. It's new. I think I think the new design looks pretty sweet. I would love it if cards. Magic cards always have, always have that back. Obviously, they can't change it to that now. No, you can't. Uh, yeah, they're really big on uh, you know allowing or making it so players can play with unsleeved cards. You know, mm -hmm. which is like a thing that no one does. Nobody, unless you're. I've seen new players do it. Yeah, or drafting. I think it is a little. It's common in that. I still have my drafting sleeves. I have like one pack that I use. Yeah. Since triple in rod. Your lucky yeah. sleeves. Yeah. More tricks, I assume. Yes. Um I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a shield to something. Right shield. Mm -hmm. Probably to the recruiter of the guard. Yep. Oh, that's a card. <laughs> oh yeah. That is that is a card. Nine, ten, one, two, thirteen. Oh, I get the draw card too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, you do, you do. You get to draw. <laughs> all the cards. Card. 
And then if it's a enchant or a equipment, I can play it with flash and equip it somewhere. This is this is kind of cool. I've never had this happen where all those stars are are aligning. Yeah, you got everything set up, man. Precious. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make sure that I, I don't die from not having enough damage. Because I know I'm going to mess it up somewhere along That's the way. That's extra damage. Let me do, can I do always yes? Oh, I can't do it now because I already yielded too far. Always yes, always yield. I can do it for that one, though. Too fast, All too right. furious. The yielding. <laughs> hmm. All right, so man, still near giants, like so good. Let's go. Turns Dorsal. out, making more copies of Stone Hero Giant is also really good. Stone Hero Giant is ridiculous. Yes, it circumnavigates. You get the tutor, circumnavigate like mana cost and counter spells all at once. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So return the guard. Return the god. <clears throat> this is probably going to be Mystic. Although, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play it if I already have enough damage. Let me count up the damage. So you playing mortar mortar pot in there? Do what? Are you playing mortar pot in the deck as a way to like psych your creatures? Mm -mm. No, I don't have mortar pot in here. Um, okay, so this is eight. Then, so eight will bring you down to. 26 and then half will go down to 13 mm -hmm. then take another eight you'll go down to five and take like two or three if i put the sword on there that should be enough because then it'd be 10 put you down to 22 go down to 11 yeah that'll be enough all right cool so i don't need to do a ton of stuff here um but i need to go to my main phase i <laughs> i do need to start doing stuff. all right so um let's move who's got the whisper stuff look okay so it's over there so let's go ahead. Just go straight to second main. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me make sure this the, is going to be totally unblockable. That's what the cool kids are doing, man. Do um, yeah, you're good because uh, fire and ice will trigger twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of equipment of one creature. Uh, protection Nine. from all colors. Death One, two, touch. Three, double four, strike. Five, haste. Six. Hexproof. Unattach. Destroy target creature. Vigilance. Come on, man. Put the last piece of on. Just make it the full ten. <laughs> There's uh, two more. I could put it on there, but double digits. Uh, <laughs> I I I don't like playing with my food. I just want to, you know, because I feel like it's so. Uh, I'm gonna target himself with grappling hook. Can I target himself? I guess I can't. He's got shroud. I'll target his his buddy. Okay. Um, Screen picks are never happened. Is Stone Hewer able to block this combat? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'll attempt. Nope. No, these guys are not leaving the bench. Okay, fine. Drink water. All right. Yeah, because like I was saying, there are some people who like they they just prolong the game because they want to do something like cool. And I mean, I understand, but at the same time, it's. I mean, you uh, have it. This is yeah, this yeah. is the game. Yeah, I try not yeah. to ham it up too much, but then I like start making mistakes, and then they like have something, and then I'm like, oh crap, I should have played that better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, TG. Oh, lightning Greaves next turn. You are so dead. Good game. Good yeah, good game, game guys. Um, yeah. hmm. It's up to you guys if you want to run it back. Uh, we I think are going to be done in terms of the recorded game i only want to put out one recorded game mm -hmm. but we could totally keep streaming for those that are watching and you know just play play a little bit more casually and you know even yeah. though it's been pretty conversational so thus far you know I'm down for another. okay Me let's too. do it sure same uh, deck